What are we? What are we doing today? We are putting on a new skate play on the Jeep with me and Mark. All right, Elijah, let's grab these parts and let's get them into the garage. Okay, so this video is going to be a bit different. Um, my little nephew, Elijah, fantastic little kid, he uh, wanted to help me with the video. And there are some instructions that I may have forgotten to explain. So, uh, if you like this method, give it a like, and hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel because it's going to be a little bit different. Um, yeah. Now, the skid plate we're installing is a belly up kit. It moves your whole drivetrain way up from factory. Um, I mean, I think it's an inch below the frame rails. It, I believe it's very, very high profile um, compared to the factory skid. Uh, 03 to 06 TJs have like a really, it's called a shovel. It hangs so far down. It's, it's quite hilarious how deep that skid plate is. Um, but this kit moves everything way up and it has a lot of pieces. All right, so before we can do anything, we have to take off the radiator shroud, right? Yeah, we have to do this because as the transmission comes up from us doing a belly up skid, it's going to move that fan. We don't want to make, break the French shroud, so we just got to get all this stuff out of the way. Like so. Like this there's some things to note nothing is ever going to um, go perfectly <laughs> this is my second time installing this kit and even still it took me a little bit to get the kit together um, it just uh, no vehicle is the same so the kit is really cool because it does have all those pieces but everything is very thought out you've got a full-on cross member that supports everything very well so that your skid plate doesn't do the work of supporting your transmission anymore. Um, the bushings are awesome because they're commonly sourced, right? They use upper control arm bushings that are stock on TJ, which you can get pretty much anywhere if you had to. Um, and and the, the hardware is like all stainless steel stuff. Um, very, it's just a really smart system. I really like it. back in here now. Nice and slow. There we go. We gotta go to the other side. You're gonna need some stuff for this kit to work. This belly up skid from uh, Savvy. It's called Savvy Under Armour. Uh, you're gonna need a motor mount lift. It's not negotiable. Um, because the transmission gets pushed up so high into the tunnel, uh, your engine will actually be pointed down. And that's, that's really bad for a lot of reasons, but uh, to level that back out, you need a one inch lift. The blocks from JKS, I find, are the best way to go. Um, and we will install that in a future video. Um, but you're gonna need that. And then you're also gonna run a body lift unless you wanna do major, and I mean major tunnel work, like body work, like probably cutting to make it work in a large way. It really tucks everything up there really tight. So you're gonna do a one inch body lift. 
Um, my recommendation is to actually leave the body lift like partially undone if you go to install this kit. So kind of install your body lift and this kit at the same time because there's um, a, a body mount on either side you're gonna have to remove to get the like the frame mount, the cross member mount to actually mount to the frame. And we have these C pieces that go in here. These are supports. They basically create a full clamp. We're gonna bolt the top in first. I'm gonna leave the bottom unbolted because we have a cross member going there. Now what I liked about this kit over many other kits is just the way it's designed. The amount of components you have. It, it seems daunting, but it's really smart because every little piece is, is thought of. Even the cross member, it's kind of hard to get in there. I finally, I finally remembered how to do it. Um, but it's kind of hard to get in there, and it's because the cross member is cut in a way to give you maximum, uh, well, maximum lift. So get your belly up as far as you can, your tra your skid plate, but also give you enough clearance around it, everything that um, you're not running into your your transfer case or your exhaust or anything. And it gives you an exhaust hanger and all that stuff. It's very well thought out, but um, because of the way things are and how tight the tolerances are, it, it takes a little finagling to get things in there. Got it all bolted up as far as the cross member, right, Dad? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all bolted up. Transmission mounts all bolted. Good to go. Look at that awesome drive shaft angle. Yeah, we're gonna have to mess with that before we can drive it. But looks good. It's just really tight up in here. It's the only problem. You have very little space, and so when you do this, you have to, the trick is to put a nut on top of the transfer case and clearance this whole tub out. Mine's already clearance because I've had the skid plate before and we struggled with that before, but uh, we don't have to do it anymore. But now, the cross members all in, bolts are all in. It gives you a whole lot of clearance to uh, TJs that have not a whole lot of clearance since this skid plate hangs down like six inches down here. Makes it nice. So I should note that we're not actually complete, right? We don't have the skid plate on. Uh, we have to make some spacers because I, I lost them and I can't find them. So I'll have to make those, but that's pretty easy. It just makes the, the frame flat since we put those C's, uh, the clamp around the frame, the frame won't be flat anymore. So we have to put a little bit of spacer in there. And then uh, it's like eighth inch. And then um, we have to just get the skid plate up with its reinforcement in the front. That, that's not a big deal. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to do a motor mount lift and some other things. And I find it's just so much easier to work on the rig without the skid plate up there because you can really crawl around under there and tweak things um, as you need it. Side note, before we end the video, if you like my shirt, check it out. It's on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. I didn't create it. I just, I thought it was a really cool shirt. My wife got it for me. Yeah. I think it's pretty awesome. So anyway, guys, with that, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Like if you like the video. Subscribe for more videos to come. We have some very interesting things coming up in the very near future. So get subscribed for that. Anyway, with that, we'll see you in the next video. All right, so we have the body of the Jeep jacked up uh, on this side. Now what we have to do is actually start getting the frame, the brackets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huh? I messed up, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this again.